Verrazano is an enterprise container platform for deploying cloud-native and traditional applications in multi-cloud and hybrid environments. It's made up of open source components, many that you already use and trust, such as Istio, Prometheus, and Grafana, and some that were written specifically to pull together all of the pieces to make sure this is a cohesive and easy to use platform. When you deploy applications with Verrazano, the platform does the hard work of setting up connections, network policies, and ingresses in the service mesh, and it wires up a monitoring stack to automatically capture your metrics, logs, and traces. Verrazano can run on Kubernetes clusters on-premises, in Oracle Cloud, and in other approved clouds. In this video, we'll install Verrazano in an Oracle Container Engine for Kubernetes OKE, cluster. Also, we'll deploy a simple Hello World microservice called Hello Helidon. Before installing, you'll need an Oracle Cloud account with permission to create OKE clusters. You'll need at least two VMs available in your tenancy, with a shape equivalent to or better than VM Standard 2.4. To install Verrazano, first we'll log into the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console. Using the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console, we'll navigate to the Developer Services and select Kubernetes Clusters to create OKE clusters. Click Create Cluster, and then launch the Quick Create Workflow. We'll keep the default Kubernetes version, 1.16.8, and select to create public nodes. For shape, we'll select VM Standard 2.4 with three nodes. Click Next, and then Create Cluster. After the cluster and resources are created, click Access Cluster. We'll use the Cloud Shell to access the cluster. Click Launch Cloud Shell. To access the kube config for my cluster, I'll copy this command and paste it into the cloud shell. You can maximize the cloud shell if it's easier for you to see. Next, we'll clone the Verrazano repository. Navigate to the Verrazano GitHub repository. Here you can see the steps that we'll be following in this video, in case you want to try them on your own later. You can use the GitHub code copy option to paste the repository URL into the cloud shell. To save time, we've already cloned the repository in our shell. In the repository that you just cloned in the Cloud Shell home, change to the Verrazano directory to access the installation scripts. We need to set some environment variables in order for the install scripts to work properly. We'll also need to create a secret that can be used to connect to Oracle Container Registry. The cluster type is set to OKE, and I need to provide the path to my Kubernetes config file. The next command creates a secret in the Kubernetes cluster, which is used for pulling images. Now we're ready to run the installation scripts. The first one installs Istio. The script output displays the progress. Next, we install some open source components that Verrazano relies on. Then the Verrazano operators, admission controller, and such. And last, for the security of the system, we install Keycloak. Once the installation is complete, you'll see the URLs used to access the UIs that are available as part of the product, such as Grafana, Prometheus, and others. We can also see that all of our usernames and passwords are set up. They've been put into secrets, and we can use these commands to access them. You'll also see some infrastructure has been installed. Rancher and Cert Manager, as well as Ingress Controller, have all been installed. You'll also see that Istio has been set up. Keycloak, and then a node exporter to pull metrics from Kubernetes. Now let's verify the installation with this kubectl command. kubectl get pods, all namespaces. Now we should see Rancher for multi-cluster system management, Istio for secure service mesh, Keycloak for system security, and the monitoring stack, Elasticsearch, Prometheus, Grafana, Kibana, and some data pushers. Verrazano has the concept of an application model that lets you assemble microservices and traditional applications into a system that can be managed together. Besides a list of applications, the model also includes connections between applications, connections to cloud services and external databases, and ingresses to the applications. Verrazano also has the concept of an application binding that you use to map the application model to the environment. The binding defines placement of the various application components and provides connection details, ingress details, and required secrets. You use YAML files to define the model and binding custom resources in Kubernetes. 
When you apply these custom resources, Verrazano does all of the wiring in the service mesh and to the monitoring infrastructure and deploys operators to manage the application components. The application model and binding are deployed just like you would any other Kubernetes deployment. They're actually handled in YAML files. Let's take a look at some examples. So if we go to the examples folder in the Verrazano repository in GitHub and look at the hello world model YAML, we can see that it's a very simple file. It's just one application component. It tells us where to get the Docker image. And if we go back here to look at the binding, this is also a simple one. It tells us where to place the application. It tells us to put it in a namespace called greet in our local cluster. It also gives us the ingress binding details. Now we'll deploy a sample application. Hello, Helidon. Let's deploy the sample model and binding. First, we'll go to the Hello, Helidon directory, and we'll use these commands to deploy the application model and binding YAML files. When we apply these, the Verrazano operator actually interprets them and does all the work that needs to happen to create the various deployments. It launches the different monitoring components and sets up the network policies that are needed. So if we look, we'll see what's different here is that we now have a greet namespace with our application pods, and we have a dedicated monitoring stack for the application, Elasticsearch, Prometheus, and others. We have successfully installed Verrazano and deployed the Hello Helidon application. Learn more at verrazano.io.